So let's talk about why data analyst projects fail. It's not as uncommon as you think. According to a widely reviewed survey, most data analytic projects fail to deliver business insight, actionable outcomes, or go into production. And this has been something that has been quoted by quite a lot of people in our industry. Not to rest on this single data point, so I polled our audience to understand what percentage of their projects actually failed. And you see we are tied with 75% and 25 to 50%. And this mirrors my own experience. So what is going on? Are we not following the same steps of cleaning data, exploratory data analysis, statistical analysis, insights, and presenting my analysis? only to find out the house we built has gone up in flames and the foundation is not as strong as we thought. So I went back to the audience and asked them why their projects were failing to get a better idea. And this is what we came up with. The vast majority of you said no clear objectives was the main reasons your projects failed, followed by poor data quality, wrong analysis, and poor communication. And I totally agree with this finding. This suggests before conducting any analysis, it's essential to have a strategic method in place. Without clear strategy, analysis becomes aimless, inefficient, and even misleading. So the WHW methods help you to focus the most important questions and prioritize your efforts to ensure clear objectives when you start your analysis project. These questions are deceptively simple. However, what they allow you to do is create a problem statement, a deliverable, KPIs, underlining factors, in a context to your analysis to give you a full view of what you need to do when you start a data analysis project. This method's effectiveness lies in its ability to pull stakeholders into the data analysis process, especially asking for their hypothesis, which allows you to answer this through your analysis. So let's take a look at this process in action. So here we are. We have our goal and problem statement. We want to find out why subscriptions decline 22% in Q4. Our success in deliverable, we want to report that pinpoints three factors that cause the drop. Trends, year-over-year -year comparison, and correlating events. Impact and hypothesis. So this is where the magic can happen we can get different opinions from different stakeholders. You can see the digital director thinks it's a technical reason. Jim thinks it's seasonality. Sally from IT thinks it's the CEO's post. Bob from content thinks it's content fatigue. And the sales director thinks it's a lack of bonuses for the sales team. All these hypotheses can be disproven in your analysis and makes this more interactive for your audience. Ultimately, this gives you a clear analysis path, and this cuts down on your failure rate as an analyst. Please like and subscribe.